Hey there everybody, High Mileage Rider here. And in today's video, I'm going to be doing a review and showing you which new camera system I decided to go with for 2023 and moving forward for shooting my videos. I decided on the Senna 50C. If you want to see how this camera performs and find out why I chose it over the others, come on back. Welcome back everybody. So for the last few years I've been using my setup with my Senna 20S and my GoPro Hero 5 camera. Having to use a GoPro 3.5 mic adapter and then a Rode connector to go from that mic adapter down into the Senna in order to catch my audio. Uh, with my videos and I've been unable to get what I consider to be good video quality as well as good audio quality and many comments in the videos have been you sound like Darth Vader, you sound like a pilot uh, or we just can't understand what you're saying because the audio is so terrible. Well I decided since I needed to get a new camera because the GoPro is now toast, essentially, uh, because of that rock hitting it. It's very um, hit and miss as to whether it'll even turn on. And of course, there is a crack in the lens, so it is no longer waterproof. Uh, so I decided it was a time for change, and I wanted to, if I could, simplify things. This system works, but obviously it's very big, very bulky, lots of connections which can be a problem when you ride in the torrential downpours that we ride in. So I wanted to make things as simple as I could. So I looked at the new GoPros, the GoPro 10, the GoPro 11, because of course mine is a Hero 5 Black, and they've had many advancements in color, image stabilization, uh, the modes that you can record in, you know, 1080p, 4K, and even higher. I also looked at the Insta360 times 2 camera. I looked at the Senna 50C as my three main competitors. I really liked the Insta360 camera. Uh, very interesting technology, wonderful camera angles that you can get. But it didn't answer my question of not having more cables and connections in order to stream audio onto my videos. So it was going to be just as cumbersome as my GoPro was. The other thing is, going forward, I wanted to be able to have the audio from the other riders in the video as well. Something that is possible with the other cameras, the GoPro and the uh, Insta360, but again, more cables, more connections, more other pieces needed. I wanted to keep it as simple as I could. So, that led me to the Senna 50C. The Senna 50C, um, we're not going to do an unboxing because there are many videos out there with unboxing. It's very simple to put into your helmet like any other intercom system. Um, the advantages for me of a Senna 50C were it is one item on the helmet, so greatly reducing the weight of the helmet. It is one item connected to your helmet, so there are no other connections, there are no other cumbersome items that I have to have batteries for, cables for, data cards for, anything else. It's all in one. That really appealed to me. The next thing is using a Senna 50C and all of the people that I ride with, uh, their Senna 20s were at the end of their lifespan. We've had those for at least six to eight years. So we've gotten our money's worth out of them. They have all upgraded to the Senna 50S. So we now have the ability with me using a 50C and them using an F50S, 
we have the ability for our communication to use the Mesh 2.0 communication, which is absolutely amazing. Gone are the days of having to press and hold for a Bluetooth channel to pair with the next person and then having to drop out of that conversation and pair with the next person and the next person and the next person. With the Mesh 2.0, all you need to do is put up this little antenna, hit the button on the top, the unit tells you that the Mesh 2.0 is initiated and is on channel 1. If you decide that you're having interference on that channel, you can switch to other channels. We have not noticed that yet. So everybody who has a Mesh 2.0 compatible system has to hit that button once and you all join together instantly. When people drop off and then come back in, they instantly join in again. Much, much simpler than the old Senna systems, the 20s and 30s. The next thing that I found um, intriguing and exciting about the 50C is that with the 50C, all of the functions of the communicator are essentially the same as what they were with the 20C. So it was less of a learning curve for me on how to work the device. Sorry about that, folks. Of course, someone rings the doorbell to deliver a package right when we're deciding to shoot a video. Now, as I was saying, because this is a Senna, the same as my previous one was, many of the functions of the unit are the same for powering the unit on, powering the unit off, the ability to scroll through music, change your volume, listen to FM radio, all of those things, it's the same function. So much less uh, learning time to use the camera and to use the communicator. Uh, one of the really beautiful things about this system is that it can be voice controlled, meaning I no longer have to reach up to turn on a camera. I will always know when the camera is on. One of the things I didn't like about the GoPro was that when I would hit the button on the top, if I had bigger, bulkier gloves on, I would never know if it was on because it never told me. So I'd have to look down in my rear view mirror, or my side mirror, sorry, and see if I could see the red light flashing to see if it was on, and then I would have to edit that out of the video. With the Senna 50C, it tells you camera on. It tells you camera recording, camera stopped. And you can control all of that with the buttons, or you can use voice controls and say, hey Senna, start recording. Hey Senna, stop recording. So you always have a verbal confirmation that the camera is on, the camera is off, or that you have turned off the camera and you are just using the communicator. The other really nice thing about the 50C, uh, it allows you to seamlessly add the audio from the other riders into your video, which I will also show you in a bit when we get out on the road. Uh, their audio is as crystal clear as me talking my, by myself into the video, which is amazing. That was the biggest thing I wanted was better audio quality, at least equal video quality, a much less cumbersome system, and much easier to use. Two other advantages of the 50C over my 20S are when you plug it in to charge it underneath here, you now have a UBC connection instead of the proprietary connection that uh, Senna had before, which means you can use any UBC cable. However, the one that they give you has a dongle on it. And what it allows you to do is when you plug it in to charge the device, once you link it up with your Wi-Fi, it will automatically search for and install updates on the device. You no longer have to plug it into your computer. It will all be done while you're charging. And with this new battery system and the fast charge system, this unit will charge from dead to fully charged in one hour, which is much quicker than the 20S was. The other advantage is 
not only do you have the ability to aim the camera this way, left and right, and up and down, you can also use this little toggle on the front to adjust the viewing angle to exactly where you want it. Now, I'm making it sound like this is all uh, rainbows and sunshine for the Santa 50C and there's no problems with it. That's not true of any device. There's good and bad. Uh, so far, the only bad thing I've noticed, or something that is less than optimal, I guess, is because you're using one unit to do both the communicator and the camera, your battery draw is much higher. So on the app that you install on your phone, and you will install two apps, you will install the camera app and the communicator app. Under either app, while you are using the device, you can see the battery life of it. So you know exactly how far you are from running out of power. So I went out and used it for three and a half hours, recording videos, talking with Steve, testing it out. And in that three and a half hours, I dropped down to about 50%. So you're looking at six to seven hours of continuous use before the battery is drained. So my Senna 20S would last 12 hours, but the GoPro batteries only lasted an hour and a half. So every hour and a half, I would have to stop and change a GoPro battery. So now at least I will get six to seven hours before I have to do anything. Now, because it has the fast charge, when you stop and you get gas or you stop and you have a drink or you go in somewhere for lunch, all you do is plug in your UBC and you can either plug it into a wall, you could plug it into a charging battery, um, and by the time you're done eating, it'll be fully charged again and you'll have another six to seven hours. Or if you don't want to do that and you're hardcore and you're just riding hard, you can plug it in and run it off a UBC connection on your bike and it can charge and function at the same time, which is a wonderful thing. So enough of me talking about this device. Let's get out on the road and show you what the video and audio quality are like, and you can let me know what you think of it. Okay, so here we are out on the road, and I've decided to, uh, to make this a fair, as fair a comparison as I can. I'm starting out by recording uh, on my GoPro Hero 5 with the Senna 20S. Now, this is just at residential speeds, 40, 50 kilometers an hour. So you can let me know what you think of the video quality and the audio quality. Recording. Okay, so here we are going through the same residential area at the same speed with the 50C recording. So you will have an opportunity to look at the video quality and the audio quality. Okay, so here we are on the highway with the GoPro Hero 5, the set of 20, and all the cables that allow me to put video and audio together. I'm uh, cruising along at highway speed, 109 kilometers an hour. You can leave me some comments below on um, what you think of the video quality and the audio quality. How is the Recording. Okay, everybody, and here we are 
with the Senna 50C recording on the same highway at the same speed with the same wind. Now the Senna 50C uses a Harman Kardon microphone which is quite a bit of an upgrade from the microphone that the original 20S used. But of course, that was not what was recording the audio going into my video with the GoPro. With the GoPro, you had your own separate microphone you had to use. So it was generally a lavalier mic. I tried the U mic off of Amazon. I tried the Power Device microphone. I tried the, uh, what was the other one? Oh, the Purple Panda microphone as well. Okay, everybody, you may notice that I did not include the video of Steve and I chatting on the road. And there's two reasons for that. The first one is the GoPro stopped recording both video and audio. Uh, again, the GoPro is on its last legs. I was hoping I could eke out one more little video with it, but it was not meant to be. So, uh, because of that, I did not include the video of Steve and I chatting with the Senna system because it wouldn't be a fair comparison because you couldn't obviously hear the GoPro portion. Um, you may also notice that before the GoPro gave up the ghost with video, it also stopped recording audio while I was on the highway. And that leads me to one of the problems of using a GoPro system with the multiple cables with the 3.5 millimeter mic adapter. And then you need uh, a cable to go from there into the camera. Uh, is that if you don't place that cord exactly into the GoPro at exactly the right angle and get just the right tightness, the vibration of you riding down the highway, I believe, can cause that cable to back out enough that it looks like it's plugged in but you suddenly stop recording audio and you have no idea that you are not recording audio anymore. And of course that really sucks when you think you've been recording a video and everything is great and you don't know until you go to upload it to your media player that you actually have no sound. Kind of annoying. So, uh, the Senna 50C will hopefully get rid of all those problems. You will have to wait until the spring in order to hear the conversations between myself and the other riders as I ran out of time, um, given the weather, to get everybody together uh, to get out for a ride to hear it. Now, all in all, I'm very, very happy with my purchase of the 50C. I think it's going to be a great addition to what I'm using to record my videos. Uh, very happy with the way it installs, very happy with the ease of use with the device, uh, and I can't wait to use it for the upcoming season to record some videos for you guys. So, if you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing, hitting the notification bell so YouTube lets you know when we've come out with new videos, and hitting the like button. It really does help the channel. Again, we're trying to get up to 3,000 subscribers for this year if we can. As always, until the next video comes out, keep that right hand cranked and the rubber side down.